Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Darla Lucian of Darla Lucian Studios and we are working on an altered playing card today. I love these tiny little um, art canvases, I guess. It's a good way to describe them. Um, so I am just gonna hop right in. I just wanna say th a big thank you to all those who subbed last week and all your lovely comments. Thank you so much. I mean, really appreciate it. Every little bit helps helps my channel grow. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking some sandpaper and roughing up the surface because it has a real slick surface and any glue is just going to pop off. It won't stay on. And so I want to make sure it's good and, and I'm just going to use my rag here. And I'm going to do the back too because it's always easier to do it when it's flat. You can do different directions. I'm kind of doing a circular today. Often I do kind of a crosshatch look where I go straight one direction and then straight the other direction. It kind of makes a basket weave kind of look almost. Um, not that you'd necessarily see it if I glued over top of it, but anyway. Wow, you can see how much red came off, hey? All right. There we go. So I just use this underneath because I want to protect my surface of my desk because it gets scratched up enough as it is. All right, so I don't know. I was just thinking I'd play around with what's on my desk and I have a few little scraps of this and that. And I was thinking that I might use a label, like a definition label this time. So I was thinking, let's see, contentment. That kind of just blends right in, doesn't it? Happiness. Oh. That's what I want to use today. Look at that. So perfect. I like how it covers up this uh, <laughs> serious injury may rob me of what the future I planned. Uh, these are safety, think and be safe <laughs> playing cards. So we never play with them because they're really depressing. And so they work perfectly for a project like this where we're altering playing cards. Okay. Hmm. Well, I kind of like how that looks with a stripe across like that. And then I have some of this pink. That could be very simple, hey? Doesn't need to be fancy, I guess. All right, so because we're doing um, on the shiny surface, I'm going to use tacky glue. I love this stuff. Yeah, it's pretty great. I'm just going to put it right on the paper. I'm using my glue pad, just a block of uh, pages that I took out of a book that I altered. I needed the cover, didn't need the pages necessarily. So I'm just lining that up where I want it. Whoops, I went a little too far, I guess. All right, I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay, so and rather than cutting it and then trying to make it fit, it's just easier to put it on and then cut to size and then you have it exactly. See how pretty that looks? Nice. All right, so let's see about this side. Just trying to see where I need to glue to. Kind of about there. I'll see if that'll help me a little bit of a guide. Come on. I put it on its side and it's starting to be, I don't know, maybe a third left. And I usually store my tacky glue upside down. <laughs> okay, let's just do that then. Store it upside down. Okay. So a little bit of this yellow is showing, but of course that doesn't matter because that'll be covered with the other. Just trying to line it up to the edge here. With tacky glue, you have like a minute or so to just make sure everything's exactly where you want, which is lovely. I think it gives just enough time to get it done. Let's see. Trim off that tiniest little millimeter of a, I didn't want it to hang over. Somehow I didn't line it up enough to cut it. So I hope you guys are doing well. Up here in Alberta, Canada, we had quite a cool uh, Saturday, but the Sunday 
was just beautiful for Mother's Day. So that was really nice. I don't know if you guys did anything special for Mother's Day. My kids made me breakfast in bed, which was so lovely. And um, they cannot keep secrets at all. So when they bought Mother's Day gifts on Friday, they gave them to me on Friday. So I got a nice little potted plant, a cyclamen, and it's pink, light pink with a hot pink center. Oh, it's so pretty. I should show you. Maybe I'll show you tomorrow. And, uh, and I got a, a thing of cookies, which are just crumbs at this point, and a chocolate bar. I'm not sure why they thought I needed sweetening up, but apparently they did. <laughs> so these are way too big. I was thinking that maybe this would work, but I'm not liking the blue with the, that. I had been working on fussy cutting a whole ton of butterflies. So we'll see if we can find something that works. It's a little too boring. Oh, this pink one's kind of interesting. <laughs> That's all right. Just uh, not quite what I'm thinking. That's not bad. Let's see, these are all quite big. Oh, there's one that's a little bit smaller. This one's kiss cut, meaning it has a little bit of a white border around. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, that's not a good sign. Let's see if I... I it's a progress of uh, all kinds of fussy cutting I've been doing lately. So I didn't think that the blue was good, but those are a neat shade. Hmm. Maybe these pink ones. Can I get it out? No, really not that color. Okay, okay. What about this purpley one? See? It's too pale. That side is too pale. We need something bold. Maybe one of these. I like that better with a bit of the, see this one is more browns, and this one has just a hit of the red in, which I like that. What about one of these? Well, I like that even better. That's better to me. Yep. I think that's the one. Okay. I have to put away all these other butterflies yet. I'll do that after our video. You don't need to watch me doing that. All right. Yes, I love butterflies. I actually like dragonflies more. I noticed that there's not a lot of creators that actually make a whole ton of good dragonflies, so I end up using I end up using these guys. All right, let's just see if I want to put any kind of meshy stuff down first, because sometimes that's fun. This is kind of an, a soft kind of a odd. This is way uh, different kind of um, cheesecloth. It's really quite soft. It almost feels like brushed cotton, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, I have this, I have these all on a ring. Let me show you. See? And it just opens and I can slide another piece on. And then this just hangs up the side like this with all these different choices right beside my right beside my desk. And I can always grab it, but it's off my desk, so it's not in the way as much. How do I want this under here? Let's see. Try to unfurl it a little. I like it like that. I think that's cute. Okay, let's try getting this on. So again, tacky glue. This is a bit shiny itself and this of course is fabric which has way too much texture. So I'm going to put a dot down I'm not worried about putting this whole thing down because, of course, um, it's not going to stick too much anyway. But this will glue right through the cheesecloth and onto the card. So, I want to make sure that it's got lots of glue on it in order to do that. 
So now because tacky glue takes a minute to hold, what we're going to do is I'm just going to sit here and hold this for a sec. And while we're doing that, I'm going to try thinking about what do we want up here? Because I still feel like there could be something up there. Maybe a little ribbon, maybe a little rickrack. Oh yes, I've got some orange rickrack. Wouldn't that look cute up there? Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Let me go find it. Let's see. In here somewhere. My daughter helped me organize my organize my ribbons and laces and so it makes it a lot easier to find exactly what it is that I remembered. Whoops! <laughs> my cutter didn't like being bumped into. Oh come on, let's go the other way I guess and we'll see if that'll go down. It fit before, how come it doesn't fit now? <laughs> it's really helpful to have All of the ribbons and laces in one spot. All right, so I've got three different rickracks on here, but I want the orange one because I think that orange is stunning for this. And you know, we don't use a lot of orange. Orange is an underused color, I would say. <laughs> That's so perfect. Okay. So I'm going to just put a little line of glue on here. It's just going to be easier to put the glue on there than on the rickrack because it will just absorb on the rickrack. And then we're going to put it right on. And then again with the holding for a minute. And we're going to do that and then we're going to cut it off once it's kind of glued down a bit. So I hope you're gearing up for spring. My daughter and I have been talking about what kind of plants we want to put outside. And my son is just like, make sure there's lots of lettuce and spinach. Well, not spinach so much. Lettuce and what else did he say? Carrots, I guess. So, yeah. He's all about the... What food are we producing? And my daughter's like, what if we put these flowers in? <laughs> it's so funny. The eternal debate. Flowers versus veg in your, in your garden, right? All right, let's just trim that edge off. Now I'm going to leave this little bit flipped over. I think I don't mind that at all. All right, let's see. We'll tuck this back in with the ribbon and things. Okay. Well, that turned out pretty cute. I think I'm pretty happy with how that is. I think we're going to call that one done. That was very simple. You know, we just used two pieces of paper, this label. A little bit of fabric, a little bit of edging, a butterfly, you know, it doesn't take a lot to make something cute. And then this can go in a journal and, you know, be a tuck spot and we could put coffee dyed paper on the back or lined paper or something for writing. Or we could leave it as is and just put, let's see. Put all kinds of butterflies over the back. <laughs> that could be fun. It's amazing what you can do, uh, you know, just just given a little bit of time, a little bit of imagination, but also a few restrictions too. Like, generally speaking, I try to use the little bits that are on my desk for my other projects because otherwise it's just really hard to settle down and figure out what it is that you're going to use when you have your whole craft space available to you. Uh, you know, I have my laces and my coffee, coffee dyed uh, cheesecloths and stuff close to the desk. They get used on every project, but, you know, generally speaking, like snips of paper and stuff, like I didn't go digging for uh, different paper. These are just papers of projects I was using, right? You saw that was just scraps and it, they turn out so cute. This one makes me happy. <laughs> happy. Happiness is a noun to feel happy within oneself. What a great note to end on today. So if you're getting value from these videos, I really ask that you would hit the like button. Uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. 
comment and share share with other crafty people let's keep this inspiration rolling you know all these things help my my videos go up in the youtube algorithms and help me to create more content you know if you love these then the best compliment is to hit the like and subscribe thank you so much you guys for watching take care and we'll catch you in the next video